All right, we have a smoker report, actually two of them, and then I got all excited thinking that we were finally getting into a nice, or are continuing, I should say, the nice trend we've been in with the, with the setups, knock on wood. Come in. <laughs> I need a new joke. Uh, anyway, so UL, this was an IPO, uh, first deep retracement. It's it's one of my, it's probably my second favorite IPO pattern. My first one would be buy at B, and that's where you're looking to buy on the, the highest close after at on day five or beyond. I'm not going to get into that tonight because we talked about it so many times. You could search my website or search uh, YouTube for that, for the buy at B. Anyway, you can see the parameters down here, and I have it listed as a first deep retracement. Entry of 40, stop at 35, IPT of 45.25, and that's a risk of $5. So on a 100K account, you would risk 400 shares, you would buy 400 shares based on that. And that seems like a fairly wide stop, not but not nearly as crazy as this one. And we're gonna look at those stop percentages in just one second as part of one of the million little things. Anyway, entry was there, stop was way down there, and the IPT was there. So far, so good, knock on wood, we banged out that that IPT. Remember, when we hit the IPT, we're taking off half of our profits. And as I was thinking about these slides, when I woke up this morning, the reason we take off half is just in case that's all we get, it's kind of like what happened on AMSC. And, and ironically, I'm going to use AMSC as an example of pulling risk off, which I'll show you right now. And that's one of the important things of taking those partial profits. So before we do all that, this was set up as a trend pivot pullback. The little bar here, let's just go back a little bit. A trend pivot pullback is when you have like a false rally or an actual false rally within a pullback and you look to get in above that little false rally. And that's a that's a pretty good, pretty good trade to take, a pretty good setup to take, I should say. So here's the parameters. And by the way, you can download these, DaveLearner.com slash archives. And, and this is literally where I got this one from, went back to the archives. And you can see uh, four to 35 shares round up or down, depending on how you want to look at that, but 400, 400 shares round numbers. And these are just calculations based on the spreadsheet, based on where the stop is placed. Entry 2560, stop of 21, and an IPT of 3020. So let's take a look at that. So entry was there, stop is here, IPT was there, and then we trailed the stop higher on the remainder. So that this one actually stopped out a little while ago, and I'll show you the, the final trade. So what's interesting is if you take a look at this and you look at how much of your account, this is something I don't talk about a lot, but I'd like to point this out. And uh, Brian, I'll, I'll, we'll get to your question. Just one second. Keep them coming, though. But you can see if you were to buy four to 35 shares, and obviously you round that one way or the other, at 2560, that's 11,136, and that's based on, again, 100K account. So we're looking at 11% of your account is in this one stock, which is not totally crazy, but it's, 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 it's enough to be concerned about. Now, here's the crazy thing is, is as your stops get wider, as I've explained before, with the volatile stocks, your share size comes down, and sometimes your risk is actually much 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 less i did a, a article many years ago i wrote an article many years ago on random thoughts on better the devil you know and you're much better off trading a more volatile stock within reason than you are a less volatile stock so this buy right here at this level here would cost you <clears throat> excuse me cost you eleven thousand dollars in change of margin now when you hit the IP, or, or let's just back up a second. One cent before the IPT, the IPT is 3020. As you can see up here, IPT is initial profit target. For those new to the system. So once you hit that, then you take off half of your shares. But the the 
moment right before that hits, let's just say three not three thirty nineteen, you now have thirteen thousand one thirty three. Now I know your account grew a little bit based on this, but to keep the math easy, we always say we have a hypothetical one hundred k in the account. So based on that, about thirteen percent of your account. So you can see as the stock moves in your favor, it becomes more and more of your account, especially if you have other losses think about that because your equities your total equity is going down and your total equity in this one stock is going up so so those percentages could get fairly high fairly quickly it's a good problem to have but it, it can happen so i thought it would be interesting to look at it one cent before the profit target so now you've got 13 percent, and i know those numbers are hard to it's hard to figure in because yeah the, the account went up a little bit but you could have other problems with the account of other losses or whatever as i just said but anyway now once you hit the ipt you would take off half of those shares okay now in taking off half of those shares you're now the stock is now 6.9 percent of your account and this should be this should be 6500 right here i think i forgot to put that in but anyway move this number to here and that's 6.9 percent of your account value. Now notice it's not half of this, and that's because the price went up on the stock. Now, this one just opt out, but what I was gonna say earlier is should this one keep on keeping on, let's say it went to 60, which doesn't happen often, but it could, right? Then then all of a sudden your numbers are much, much bigger, and now you're you're up to a, a much bigger percentage of your account that's in the one stock. Now we don't plan on losing a hundred percent of a stock price okay but sooner or later a stock will get whacked we've had a few halves that happened to us before and it sure is nice when it happens when you're deep into the money from where you entered the position so up here at the top and this is the point i was talking about earlier as it will begin to creep up as the stock goes up even after you take those partial profits off so at the peak here it was at it was uh and again i didn't do my math right my apology so it should be this should be 7128 right here so at seven percent of your account so half would be like five and a half round numbers from where you started but now you're creeping up to seven percent and change okay so that's 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 part of an, an angle to the money management that i never did discuss and that's margin. And usually the margin is not a huge issue because again, we're trading more volatile stocks as a general statement.